This is question number 217 from chapter 1 of J.B. Gupta's book. So, the question goes like this. For the two-port network as shown, what is the value of Y21 parameter? So, there could be many ways in order to approach this, but I'm, show, I'm going to show you the shortcut. But you need to do the homework on yourself in order to understand what I'm about to explain. So, uh, like I usually say, we have been given a Pi network, so we need to do the Y analysis. I mean, we are trying to find the Y parameter uh, Y parameter matrix. So for a Pi network, we usually go for Y, Y matrix. So this is the Y matrix. The elements are Y11, Y12, Y21 and Y22. Here Y11 is the sum of all the elements that are connected to node 1. Say this is node 1 and this is node 2. So at node 1, we have got Y1 and Y3. So element Y11 is going to be Y1 plus Y3. And next this Y22 is the sum of elements that are connected to node 2. Here we have Y3 and Y2. So we have Y2 plus Y3. Now finding Y21 and Y12, this is the tricky part. So now I'm trying to find the element that is connected to both the nodes 1 and 2. So I'm now trying to find Y12. Here the general notion is we will take the negative sign here and here. And the element that is common to both 1 and 2 is y3. So here it will be y3. But if you observe, we have also been given a, a current source, a dependent current source. This symbol is a bit confusing, but this is a current source we have been given. And this is a voltage dependent current source. And this is its admittance, right? This is the dependence parameter. So here the units of this GM is I by V into here we have got a V. So this V and this V goes on uh, cancelling each other giving us the unit as amperes so here what we will do is now this parameter gm will be related to y21 and not to y12 so as i have already said you will have to do your own homework you will have to go through the derivations in order to understand why it is like this since this gm is attached to this point we will have a minus and if you observe this g this is uh, taking the current away from this node so it will be minus gm so minus and minus goes on becoming plus. So this will be Y3 plus GM. So this can be uh, rewritten as GM minus Y3. So we have GM minus Y3 in option C. So this is the right answer for this question. As I have already told you, in order to deeply understand the shortcut of this question, you need to do your homework. You will have to know why we are taking minus sign instead of plus sign, how it is becoming minus into minus plus. I mean. Uh, you'll have to do your homework. If you can understand, it's fine. If you don't understand, go through the textbooks. There you will find the ways in which these dependent sources work. And see, there are certain exams and certain books wherein uh, you will find certain questions to be confusing. This is one of such books. So though J.B. Gupta's book is very good, there are certain mistakes in it. There are sometimes there are uh, printing mistakes. Sometimes there are calculation mistakes. There will be law, uh, there are certain wrong answers and uh, the, in the situations like this here, see the representation for a dependent source is with a rhombus, right? This is the symbol we are, uh, it should be used in order to represent a dependent source. But here he have, uh, he, he has given the symbol of an independent source, but by looking at these parameter, we'll have to decide that this is not an independent source, but a dependent one, right?